you work in construction and you work in a rock shop, you usually know that these things are beaten to shit. This one, however, was brand new, less than 10 hours from the factory. This thing is so sweet. It literally has heated seats and AC seats. It even has a little fan in the cooler where my lunch goes. I don't know how I lucked out with this, but I'm stoked. Race car spelled backwards was race car. <laughs> Are you kidding? Hey Cooper, what's up? It's Tony Hawk, and I just want to say thank you so much for the skateboard. It's on its way to my house already, and uh, as a thank you gift, I'm gonna send you my skateboard, this one right here that I'm riding. All right, thanks, buddy. I hope to meet you sometime. moment has happened. Someone else used one of my sounds to make a video. Nobody warned me what it was like to hear your voice coming out of someone else's mouth. I was unprepared. Wanna take a nap? I'm taking a nap here. Okay, take a nap right there then. <laughs> Good night. Good night. The person who came up with the phrase, if you want something done right, you better do it yourself, didn't take into account that myself is a fucking idiot. What the heck? <laughs> I got a nail in my tire just recently. I took it into a place called Discount Tire and I asked them, hey, can you guys fix this? Because they fix flats for free. The guy came out and said, sorry, we don't do it for Tesla Model Xs because Tesla has some sort of proprietary run flat or something inside of the tire. They just didn't know how to do it and they didn't want to mess it up, so they said no to me. But as I was telling this to Zach, he's like, there's only one way to get inside of a tire. Let's do it. <laughs> do you have experience slashing a tire? I don't think I'm allowed to answer that on camera. <laughs> Is that the biggest knife you can muster up? I think I have a, I have one more. Do you keep your big knives in your truck? You never know when you might need one. What the heck? That's not a knife. That's a knife. No idea what you're talking about. You've never seen Crocodile Dundee? No. Let me know in the comments if you've seen Crocodile Dundee and you understand that reference. Back to the video. Why, hello there. Guess what I've got? You guessed it, a UTI. Which is weird though, because the only thing that's been fucking me lately is life. I need to know who else learned about this in school. The gallon body. It's very simple, I will never forget this the rest of my life. Your torso is the gallon. Your upper arms and your thighs are the quartz, so you got four of them, four quarts in a gallon. Then you have two bones in each of your lower arms and two bones in each of your lower legs. 
that's the pints. So you have eight pints in a gallon. Cut off your thumbs and your big toes, you get 16. You have 16 cups in a gallon. I will never forget this as long as I live, and I learned this in like the second grade, almost 20 years ago. I taught it to my family when I learned it, but no one else growing up besides my former classmates that were in that particular class knew what the heck I was talking about if I brought it up. So please. Huh?